will open things up with a battle for the vacant WBO Oriental featherweight title. Dave, the Hunter Peñalosa, going in the biggest test of his career as he faces the gallant Marcos Cardenas coming from Mexico. But this is a venue that he's familiar with. He'll be okay here. He'll be in a hometown audience. And this crowd just ready to party because of the international competition here tonight. And in just a short while, we'll get the introduction and uh, we'll get uh, our information from the, atop the ring. Both fighters actually struggling and, now, and, and gentlemen, making weight as we send on to our announcer. Skydome, this is the main event of the evening. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's bring out the fighters making his way inside the ring all the way from Guaymas, Sonora, Mexico, Marcos Geraldito Cardenas! Okay, Carlo, we have Marcos Cardenas from Mexico, not a bad record, 19-6-1, KOs. Guaymas, Sonora represented by Marcos Cardenas, struggled to make weight, weighed in at 127 pounds, but immediately after just one hour, he was able to make the featherweight limit of 126 pounds. Balita ko, very colorful yun nangyari sa weigh-in. The most intense weigh-in I've ever witnessed <laughs> in my entire life. Okay, and that happened the day before, and interesting developments in that particular weigh-in. Daniel Stoplasan pala is the man, the third man in the ring. Let's listen. inside the ring. The pride of Cebu City, Cebu, Philippines, the hunter, Dave Peñalosa. Okay, Dave Peñalosa, the hunter, 14 0 and 0 10 by KO. And the new generation, Peñalosa, have had a wonderful opportunity of covering both his father as well as his uncle. And this is a, I'm, I'm suddenly very old, Carlo. <laughs> and this is a new generation, Peñalosa, with still another one to come later on. As we now take a look at the records of both Peñalosa and Cardenas, undefeated is the Hunter Dave Peñalosa, 14 wins with a 71% knockout ratio. Again, as you said, Cardenas, not bad himself with a 19 wins, 15 knockouts. He already fought in the Philippines once. He's hoping to bounce back after losing his first one as he'll try to take home the WBO Oriental Featherweight Championship back to Mexico. Let's send it to Audrey Gorizeta for the formal introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem of the two fighters. First, we honor the national anthem of Mexico. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for our national anthem.
Buti yung si Chot Reyes, hindi si Miguel ng Laban Pilipinas. <laughs> Naman, Sef, there's just something about the Mexican and Philippine national anthems being performed that makes it feel like a big fight. And we're expecting exactly that between Marcos Cardenas and, and Dave Peñalosa. Ladies and gentlemen, from SM Skydome, Quezon City, ESPN5. In cooperation with Chatty Pens Promotions Incorporated, proudly present the main event of the evening. This championship bout is brought to you in association with Smart Communications, sanctioned by the Games and Amusements Board of the Philippines, headed by Chairman Baha Mitra, GAP Commissioner Ed Trinidad, and Commissioner Mar Masangid, Chief of the Boxing Division, Mr. June Bautista. WBO Vice President Leon Tanoncillo, the three judges at ringside, Danilo Lopez, Attorney Akil Tamano, and from Hawaii, Martino Redona. And now, the third man in the ring in charge of the action, referee Attorney Danrex Tapdasan. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let the mayhem begin. 12 rounds of boxing for the vacant WBO Oriental Featherweight Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red trunks, official weight 126 pounds, professional record 19 victories including 15 wins, coming by way of knockout with 6 defeats and 1 bout even. Fighting out of Guaymas, Sonora, Mexico. Introducing Marcos Cardenas. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing pink trunks, trimmed with white, official weight, 126 pounds. This boxer holds a perfect professional record consisting of 14 victories, including 10 wins coming by way of knockout with no defeat. Representing Chairpens Boxing Stable, introducing the pride of Cebu City, Cebu Philippines, Dave the Hunter Peñalosa. Quiero una pelea limpia. Gusto ko limpio ang away, okay? Obedecer mis ordenes todo el tiempo. Minawa og sunda akong mga subo, okay? Proteja siya sa mismo todo el tiempo. Protektahin mo kagulingon kanunay, okay? Sabot? Entiendes? Okay, guantes. Touch gloves. Good luck. This round is brought to you by Smart. I mean, shock. <laughs> Ready? Bisaya. Porque en Spanish. En este periodo, mm. muy necesito, hindi ba? Spanish one. But uh, Dan Rex works on his career, and he knows international rapping. Of and he, course. That'll go places, huh? Our well respected WBO official. Atorni, yan? Atorni. Ano strengths ng Peñalosa, Car uh, Carl? He is a power puncher. He is a head hunter. Kaya naman siya yung tinawag. Na Hunter, he is the better puncher among the two Peñalosa cousins. Makamay knows Ooh. when to attack, and pag nakita niyang nasaktan yung kalaban, he, there is no let up in him. Will there be something to consider because of the weight problem that Peñalosa encountered yesterday? For sure, that was an extra two and a half hours of work para sa kanya. 128 pounds, weighed in again 127, weighed in again 126.5 before he finally got it on his third try, two hours after. Inisip mo, dalawang oras lang naman yun, but that is huge in oh, terms laki. of recovering because you only have an X amount of hours to recover from that weight loss para magpalakas for this fight the next day. You know, his uncle, si Jerry, noong 1997, we had to burn one half pound. Uh, we 
with Raka Trinidad. We had to work on him. Um, sa shower para may init tapos nasunog din tapos ang dami kinain ni Jerry tapos, <laughs> syempre dapat syempre. right after the way in uh, load up on the right stuff yeah, that way we were in Songnam in Korea and he won that battle in the meantime we'll get a shot of Jerry later on in the meantime oh this Mexican is bi looks like he means business Carlo huh? yeah sinabi niya rin yan no? he did not fly all the way here to the Philippines to lose again Natalo ito back in 2012 against Genesis Cervania. Oh, I but he is hungry name. for a win here today. Marcos Cardenas in the uh, Mexican colors, you may call it that. While Peñalosa with the white trunks with the touch-up red. And he has thrown a great combination. Ang maganda sa Peñalosas through the years, huh? whether si Dodi Boy, si Jerry, has been the combinations in technical side of boxing. Kaya nga si Jerry has been proclaimed uh, one of the best technically ever. Ganda tatapon yung Cardenas hindi masamang buksang ero to. In terms of the Philippines, I think Jerry was yes, the best ever in terms of just pure technique. Napakagaling, napakasharp magpatama ng mga Peñalosa. Pero sabi nga ni Jerry, no? Being a Peñalosa does not guarantee success. Yeah, hindi point. ka mananalo dahil lang Peñalosa ka. You have to put in the hard work. You don't have to put in the effort blood, sweat, and tears to become a champion in boxing. In the meantime, Peñalosa taking it strong against Cardenas. We're less than 30 seconds before the end of the opening round, set for 12, because we're working on a vacant title. There was some uh, concern about the weight, because there is a world title at stake, Carlo. Yes. Ano? Kailangan talaga strict on the bottom, 126 pounds. Non-title, you're allowed to weigh up to a pound over, not in this fight. And that's it for round... Number one. Taking in action from the first round. This is the power pound punch rather of the round. Brought to you by Smart. Peñalosa managed to get in a few big shots that uh, Made uh, Cardenas stumble a bit there. Dulo na nung suntok, nung kaliwa, itong si Dave Peñalosa yung tumama. You can see the corner working on maybe early damage on Peñalosa after the first round. You know, Cardenas, kita mo agad. In the opening minutes, you know that he is here to win. As you see, champ, our promoter, Jerry Peñalosa, alongside Blackwater boss, you tell the see. Second round coming up, brought to you by Smart. Referee Danrix Taptasan already set to allow the boxers to do their thing. And that was a close first round, if I may call it that, uh, it, ve Carlo. it was very tight, but we have to lean with Dave Peñalosa. He was just the harder worker among the two fighters. That was our, of course, unofficial scorecard. Dave Peñalosa, the uh, hunter, as he is so appropriately called, is now on the left side of your screen with Cardenas with his back towards you. Southpaw may, versus orthodox fighter. May gigil ba yan si Peñalosa siguro? Kasi siyempre, he's uh, again fighting in front of a home crowd. Uh, gusto makanakaut uli yan, di ba Carlo? Of course, he, he is always looking for an opportunity to finish off an opponent. Pero sabi niya nga, nung press con, uh -oh. sanay na sanay na siya being fighting under pressure because he knows the eyes of the Philippines are on him right now and he will perform accordingly. Cardenas tagged several times there, tries to rally back here, gets back set into his position at the center of the ring. Oh, Malalim is also talking Cardenas, but a uh, great retaliation by Peñalosa trying to keep that right hand busy. Umiling yung Cardenas says, di mo ko nasaktan. Oh, kaya po yan. But these are scoring blows for Dave Peñalosa. Mas matangkad yung uh, Cardenas, 5'9 ang uh, kanyang really strong tangkad. 5'6 naman. Oh! Ito na. Hanapan, hanapan ng butas. Time goes to a minute and 20. Tumatama, no? Yung right yeah. hook. Itong si Dave Peñalosa. This crowd ooing and eyeing with every bit of action. Especially if it's Peñalosa creating the action. Alam mo kung ikaw ang dayo, like in the case of the Mexican, that he gets tagged seriously by a left straight there. You have to be aggressive. You have to take the fight against the hometown kid. 
That is definitely the case. Even when our fighters are traveling all over the world, yan din naman yung pasos. Good exchange in the middle of the ring. Oh, Peñalosa unfurling a pair of shots there. Ganda nung straight quickly followed by the hook. Mula kay Dave Peñalosa both connecting. Ooh. Marunong din yung Cardenas, ha? Hindi lang, ma hindi lang ta talo lang siya sa volume, eh. That is the favorite punch for many Mexicans, that left to the liver. Lalo na yung kalaban mo, nahirapan sa timbang. That could be a very important punch oh, point, for the Mexican. Good point, good point. Kasi nahirapan nga magsunog, eh, no? And ito, nagbababa ng defense ah! yung Cardenas, ha? So, the right back. Power punch of the round, brought to you by Smart. Uh, we're just about ready to step into round number three. It looks like Peñalosa is still dictating the flow of the match so far, uh, Carlo. That is a very good sign that he is already landing. Yung kanyang left straight down the middle. That means kahit na mas mahaba, kahit na mas matangkad, kuha niya na yung sukat. Third round, brought to you by Smart. Peñalosa, now attacking. Good counter that time by Cardenas. Trying to keep himself busy as well. He's longer, Carlos. Yep. That's why he has to use that one-two combination, the jab and then the straight. But kaya nga lagi itong si Dave yung pasugod because the Mexican is trying to take advantage of his length with popping that jab. Siyempre sa parte naman ng Pilipino, gusto mo knockout para walang... Sabi-sabi, walang, walang bulong-bulungan na hometown decision, di ba? Oh, maganda yung timing din ni uh, si Marcos oh, Cardenas. Oo, ganda, no? Hindi masama buksing ero yeah, to, ha? definitely. Alam mo naman, eh, dalawang bayang palaban, eh, no? Mexico at Pilipinas. Halos pareho ang kwento. Ayan na, naibit sa kanto si Cardenas. Tinatatad sa katawan. Ito na, medyo wild. Ayaw! Big shot that time! But Cardenas still standing strong. Peñalosa misses. Doon mo malalaman na praktisado rin talaga. These are heavy punches that Cardenas is absorbing right now. Maganda conditioning niya, no? Kasi ito, yung iba dyan, titiklop eh. Now, you can sense the confidence of Peñalosa growing with every passing uh, shot that he's been making so far. The mental battle pinapairal di Cardenas. Umiiling siya sa lahat ng suntok. Itong si Dave Peñalosa says, hindi mo mo nasasaktan. But that's a bad miss. Big electric fan shot there. Actually, hindi nga electric pa niyan. Pamay pa yun. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Peñalosa trying to get Cardenas on the ropes. Time down to 44 seconds here in the third. That hand is busy. He has him in the corner. Moves him to the middle. Banyalosa trying to attack seriously. Missed barely there. Cardenas answering back. Body stop, shot. Up oh, low. Golpe bajo. Mas arriba. Okay? Mas arriba. Okay, Raka? Ba. Bisaya at saka Castilla, no? How many times will you see that combination? Only here. And only with that at, at Arne Tandrex up that side. Oh. Yan, Facebook friend ko yan. Eh. Masipag <laughs> mangiliti yan. Eh. Such a delightful uh, 
Well Kimble. rounded. Well rounded man, actually. We'll take a break. Power punch ng ating round. Hapit sa inyo ng smart. Boom! That is a huge, huge right hook. Ang maganda kay Peñalos is both hands are at work, Carlo. Yep, but one thing that he needs to be careful of is that paminsan, nawawalan siya ng balance. Pag sumusugod siya paharap, he might get caught with a big counter from Marcos Cardenas. But so far, so good for Dave Peñalos. Welcome to the fourth round, brought to you by Smart. Second goal! Don Rex Tamtasan yelling uh, at the seconds to get out of the way. And so far, on based on Carlo Pamintunan's unofficial scorecard, he has given all the rounds so far to Peñalosa. But not dominantly. Marcos Cardenas has landed his fair share of big punches. Just to be fair, 10-9, 10-9, 10-9. Huh? So far, no knockdown so far. Yes, mas marami lang talaga yung napapalanding oh. nitong si Dave Peñalosa. But he gets clocked with a right straight down the middle. Down the middle, tumama sa kamay at sa glove, pero naalog eh, sa lakas eh. Pero unscathed pa rin yung Cardenas. Uh, Malinis pa rin yung mukha niya. Oh! 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 Peñalosa in a bit of trouble, but he counters quickly. And like a wounded tiger attacking now the body. Nagising, nagising. Kita mo yung tapang ng Peñalosa absorbed the best punch of the match so far mula kay Cardenas and came out swinging. And Cardenas. Oh! oh! There's the first knock down. Three. Cardenas three. Four. Cinco. Five. Six. Siete. Seven. Ocho. Eight. He waited for the... Count of eight. And Peñalosa already jumping up and down. Only got the hunter that he is. He is going for the kill. And we're down to a minute and 39. This crowd is roaring. Oh, another big left. And Martin is trying to counter, but he loses his balance. Peñalosa on the prowl here. Oh! Two shots, three shots. Peñalosa hunting for a target here. Got one there in. He's got Cardenas in the corner. Walks and weaves out of it. The time is 106. Body shot. Napangat si Cardenas dun. Still on wobbly legs itong si Cardenas. He's up on the count of eight for the second time. Second Fighters, knockdown. Yeah, second knockdown. Two of them here in this round. And Peñalosa hoping to end it here. Does he have enough time? He probably won't. Investment boxing. Eh. May mga tira kasi si Peñalosa sa takiliran. Eh. Flyweight champion. Three knockdowns in him. In spectacular, stunning fashion. Except he did it after getting clapped. He was on wobbly legs early in the round. But it woke him up, as you said. Mr. Wadil Choi. He had his best performance after being wobbled by his opponent. What an impressive performance for the hunter, Dave Peñalosa. We're busy uh, re everything here that we recorded so you that you can enjoy the action one more time. The Peñalosas, of course, hugging. Ito yung matagal na kaibigan ni Jerry na Japanese. Uh, yan, panahon pa ng 97 yan. Very close friend of, uh, of Jerry. And 
very brave Mexican. Huh? Took the fight very strongly against Peñalosa, actually. Had his moments in this matchup, but nung nasakta na siya here in this round, tapos binugbog pa sa katawan. That felt the end of this performance. At alam mo, nung niluwanan niya yung uh, mouthpiece niya, may dugo na eh. There are the uh, Peñalosas enjoying the moment. Dami nila, no? <laughs> Isang barangay. Again, no doubt about it, Marcos Cardenas is the toughest opponent yet for Dave Peñalosa. And check out the power punch of the round brought to you by Smart. Take us through this, Carlo. Yun talaga eh. He hooked him with the right and then clocked him with the left straight down the middle for the first knockdown. Pangalan one naman. This was the second one. A body punch. A left sa gitna. And then this was the punch that finished off Cardenas. That wicked left right to the side of the Mexican sent him down and authority Dandrex Daptasan stepped in for the technical knockout win. Let's go to Audrey at the ring. Official time, 2 minutes 47 seconds in the fourth round. We have a winner by technical knockout. And you, WBO Oriental Federal League Champion, Dave!